action. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Aiden here and in today's episode I've got my buddy Elliot with me. If y'all don't know who Elliot is, where have you been? Because he's been in a lot of my videos lately. Check him out in the description box below. Elliot here is going to help me because today we're going to talk all about how to get ready for summer when you're binding. So the top three tips I have for summertime binding. The weather is getting beautiful and everyone enjoys a beautiful, hot, sunny day. Unless you're wearing a binder. So how are we gonna do this? Here's the top three tips. So the first thing I wanna share with you all is how to tankify your binder. So if you're going out, your binder might look something like this when you're wearing a tank, which is pretty obvious. And now I don't think a lot of people are gonna ask you any questions, but this could bring up some dysphoria for you. And it could look like an undershirt, yeah. right? Yeah. But it doesn't really matter what other people see, it's how we feel. One thing I did is I made a video years ago showing how I would tankify my binder. But I luckily have top surgery, free the nipples. So uh, I don't have to wear a binder. So I'm going to show you on Elliot how I would tankify a binder. And pretty much all you're going to do is you're going to tuck in the binder and kind of roll it in onto itself so that it hides underneath your binder. First I start at the top and I'm literally just going to grab and tuck it under on both sides of here. Yes, I've did. asked for permission already to do this. So when you start tucking and rolling this binder underneath, you see how it starts to disappear under his tank line. So I'm gonna do that all the way around. So on the back, boom, boom, roll it under like that. And there you go, cover it up. Now we're gonna go to this side and we'll start from the back. Now I'm gonna have uh, Elliot lift up his <laughs> Boy! I'm, I'm just playing, but I'm, I'm not. I mean, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. It's, it's totally fine. It's really good. It's we're, really fine. We're just gonna roll the binder like this, like underneath. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna keep rolling the binder. And the reason I have Elliot with his arm up is because you'll see um, here, right? So we're gonna have to roll this as well. You're pretty much gonna roll all the way around where the binder goes. It's not gonna stay in place 100%, so you're going to have to kind of check in on yourself every now and then. What I have noticed with different binders is you'll have different show places in different spots. So this is a GC to B binder, amazing, we love them. Shout out yes. to GC to B. But one thing they do, which is kind of cool, but not the best for the tanks, is that they have a V-neck. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull his tank up a little bit. So it's not gonna be as low, but it's nice, you know, it looks, looks like a normal, a normal wearing tank. And so now that we've rolled everything, you can't see anything. Most tanks don't have super low sides, but some of them do. In this case, Elliot's tank is a little bit lower. So one thing we can do is we can tuck the actual tank top into the binder. Not a lot, just a little tuck, just enough so that you can't see right away the binder. And that's it. So as you can see, it's gonna slide a little bit, but again, you're gonna find the right tank. That's also what it's about. I told this guy to bring like three tanks. He brought one, so. I only own one. It. Well, we're gonna have to buy you some new tanks. So. <laughs> but that's it. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. I mean, yeah. I don't, I feel like you can't see it nearly as I much. I don't know why you're doing this, but yeah. I mean, the yeah. only thing that keeps showing up on this binder is this kind of V-neck. Mm -hmm. But again, I feel like there's definitely ways you could probably also find a way to pin it back. I remember in high school, I was on the softball team and we used to get these things <laughs> yeah. that would like slide under and like crimp it here. Mm -hmm. I bet yes. you that you can do the same thing That's, for a binder, yeah. right? I did the same thing for soccer. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. No. yeah. And I feel like if yeah. you crimped this here underneath, mm -hmm. then it would slide underneath. But again, mm -hmm. tankify your binder. Then no one will even know that you're wearing one. Or also like try, I mean there's different types of tank tops too. Try and totally. find like one that like it has a thicker strap or... Muscle tees. Yep. Alright, tip number two. Back it up baby. Back it up. So it's swimming time. You want to swim and you should swim. Listen, don't let your binder prevent you from enjoying a good time this summer, okay? Go out, enjoy it, swim. But if you're going to swim and you're going to wear your binder, have a backup binder. Yes. What I used to do is I had a crummy old binder that didn't, it bound 
but not like crazy a lot. Mm -hmm. But enough for me to ha wear this and wear a tank top and be out. And then I would swim in this binder. Then when I was done swimming, I would go to the bathroom and I would change out of my wet binder into a clean, dry binder. And so what I found what this did for me was it made me feel more comfortable when I was swimming, but I wasn't like super, super bound while swimming. Yeah. Do you find that? Oh yeah, no. I have one that I, it is just like, I mean, I still wear it. It's your it swimming now, binder? But it's definitely like my swimming binder because it isn't like as, it doesn't bind as well as like this one, which is a newer one. Mm -hmm. And that one's just become, yeah, the swimming binder. And I think that that also helps like once like you're, you know, once you're swimming and then once you get out and you're like, ah, oh, this, you, it's just like, Ooh. it's extra it's, tight. It's like, right? oh wow, it's just it's like <laughs> stuck to me now. Yes. It's definitely stuck to you, but I, I found that it's just tighter too. Like definitely. it starts drying yeah. and it just gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And yeah. the material is still slightly rougher than a t-shirt or a yeah. bathing suit. So yeah. it's always good to have a backup. So bring a backup binder, back it up. Have a looser one for when you're swimming, then go change into your nice one that makes you feel comfortable. You can use the um, tankifying technique for while you're hanging out, mm -hmm. and that is definitely some advice if you're going to be swimming this summer. The third tip is all about being sweaty Mick Sweaterson. So I sweat a lot. This gentleman sweats a lot. <laughs> and when you're wearing a binder in the summer, you're already sweating when you were not wearing a binder. Now imagine wearing a binder. You probably all don't have to imagine that, but you can imagine if you don't wear a binder yet, just how hot that is. So what do you have to do? We have to be extra, extra, extra hygienic and clean. So make sure that you're washing your binder a little bit more frequently than you do in the winter time. Um, and this gentleman told me a little trick that he does, and I would love for you to share it with everyone. Wait, what's the trick? baby wipes thing? Like, oh, the yeah. Baby wipes. Yeah, well, I, Paige and I, uh, we use baby wipes, and uh, because I also will get like these zits, unfortunately, like really bad zits underneath, um, because that sweat buildup, you know, mm -hmm. you'll, you get acne. And so what I've done is the minute that I take my binder off, I will just grab a baby wipe and just wipe the sweat away and it just cleans it and it makes it feel better and then if you need to like put your binder on again like you can do that but like obviously you know eight hours yeah eight like, hours a day is the ideal is the ideal yeah but yeah baby wipes uh, is a great tip or even just I mean just what using it anything clean. just yeah keeping it clean I think is the key here and that's because yeah. Acne really, I mean, if you're taking hormones, especially you're going to get acne in these sweaty spots. So you've got to make sure that you clean the binder more often. You have to make sure that you're taking breaks mm -hmm. throughout the day yeah, and during, during those times, clean yourself up, let your binder dry. Um, and honestly, I know that taking showers is not our favorite thing because of our body dysphoria that we all have varieties of suffering through. But I think it's really important because I remember having acne on my back that hurt so bad and like they they would just turn into this little zit into like this cystic. Yeah, yeah, like this huge thing and then like it bleeds and now my binder's got like blood on it and it's just like really dramatic. So welcome to my life. Right? I've been there. I've been there yeah. and I can't wait yeah. till you are no longer there, yes. believe me. <laughs> but that is definitely a really, really, really big tip. And so before I leave you, I'm gonna throw in a bonus tip because we love you. And that bonus tip is to look for alternative chances of not to wear your binder. Binder. Hang out with people that you're comfortable with, that you feel safe with. If you are at a lake with your friends, there's nobody around, maybe it's the nighttime, and you know, maybe try not to wear your binder into the water, right? You know, if yeah. you're comfortable, this isn't something you should make yourself do. But if you've got good friends, other trans friends, everyone should be really understanding. And if they're not understanding, then maybe you should have a conversation with that friend or you should consider letting that friend go and finding a friend who will let you be who you are, who will let you have a good time even though you have some barriers to, to your full authenticity. They should let you try your best to experience that authenticity around them. And so like if me and Elliot were out, I hope that Maybe you would. Maybe you wouldn't even feel comfortable. But as a friend, I would be like Ellie. Just so you know, like if you don't want to wear your binder in the pool, if you don't want to wear anything, if you just want to wear a shirt or nothing, like don't worry about it. Like I'm not gonna be looking. I'm not gonna see you or treat you any differently. You know. So if you're an ally, let your friends know. Totally. Right. Yeah. 
I feel like that is really important. It is important. And like, listen, I used to do, we used to do a lot of night swimming. Mm -hmm. And like, there were multiple times where I just swam with no top on because yeah. you can't even see anyway. No. And no. I'm not like, hey, what's up? What's going on? You know, like, exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty much like, hey guys, what's up? Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. But I felt just, even though I didn't feel like so, so comfortable, I felt just like free. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit more free, a little bit more. You can breathe. Yeah, yeah. and and like supported mm -hmm. by my friends who were around. You yeah, know what I mean? Definitely. So if you feel safe, safety is always, always first. Just, yeah. just put the safety first. But if you feel safe and you've got dope friends, just be honest with them and be like, listen, I'm gonna go topless. We're going in today. We're gonna have a good time, and that's what you should be having this summer. It doesn't matter if you're trans. It doesn't matter if you have a binder. If you have top surgery or not top surgery, yeah. you should be able to have a good time. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. So thank you, Elliot, for being my uh, my walking mannequin here, my live mannequin, <laughs> my co-host. Um, if you have any tips, please, please, we need to get more tips out there for people who wear binders. So please leave your tips below in the comment section. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have a platform that you want to share this on, you feel like there's people who will benefit from these tips, please, you have our permission, share away. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.